Another uh, video that's kind of going viral is a woman taking a video of some kids playing in their yard, and it's it's a little sad. I mean, I know ignorance is blessed, but these kids are actually walking around like they're in some kind of video game. Like the kids today don't really know how to play outside. Yeah, I saw this video. It really does look like Sim characters. Like, have you played the Sim game? Yeah, a long time ago on the old yeah, PC. Yeah, well, it looks kind of like that. You got these kids who are just, one kid is in the corner dancing, but he's doing this constant dance, almost like he's looping. And yeah. then this other kid just walks around and touches a bush. Yeah, he's like playing with it. He's yeah. Like, yeah, and he's then like he playing. walks away, doesn't know what he's doing, just, that's it. And, you know, he didn't go in and rip some plants off or rip trees off or branches. I thought he was going to do something like that, but you know, he actually felt it. Like this was his first time touching nature. How he was handling the fruits of that vine just seemed kind of weird. But what can we expect? We, we force all the kids nowadays. We just throw a tablet in their face. We throw a phone in their face. We throw video games in their face. We tell them to be quiet. Don't bother me. Don't talk to me. I got things to do. And so the kids are just sitting there entertained by technology. Then you get tired of them sitting in the house and you say, go outside and do something. What do you think they're going to do? They're going to act like the video games they've been looking at all day. <laughs> and then they, they turn out like Uncle Kip who and everybody despises because he says, you know, I still love technology. At least he went after that one girl. Yeah, I guess he, yeah, he got, he became a bankster. Yeah. I mean, he, he, he at least he went for it. He, he chased after his dreams. Yeah. In his socks. Well, anyways. Yeah. I saw that. I, I just, I can't really expect anything more. You know, people replicate especially children, they're replicators. And if all they see day in, day out is these weird robotic mannerisms, what do you think they're going to act like when they get out into reality? And then what causes this weird, strange social behavior? And so it's not like there's much that we can uh, say about that. The only thing we can do is try to restrict social media and video game access, but that's not healthy now. You've already programmed society and children for decades that this is normal. You take it away now, you're going to have a rebellion. And so it's not going to work. You just can't cut people cold turkey. No, they're afraid to try warm turkey. They just want to do cold turkey. And not only that, all commerce is pushing more to technology. We just talked about with Amazon. They're only bringing infrastructures to force people to stay connected with technology. There's nothing that's encouraging the idea of just pure personal social interaction. It's staying digital. The digital dystopia. The digital dollar. The digital dancing.